All right, welcome back to another episode of Driveway. Today we're going to start messing around with roll cage. I had my conduit that I'm gonna run a couple patterns just to make sure we don't have to do something weird. Cause I'm thinking with this car, we can get uh, our hoop just with one corner. There's a lot of other vehicles that has to come up take a 45, come up a little further, another 45 and across. So hopefully we can do that all in one with the uh, bigger radius on the tubes. So that's what we got the conduit for and that's what we're gonna find out. Okay, so as you can see, we got our seatbelt buckets cut out, so we got room to run the cage through. It's most likely going to be right about here, run straight up, and this should be where the corner should make. So, that should be pretty good. Now we're going to have to just get a good measurement and Hopefully we can make a decent conduit bend and see how it works. Alright, so it might be noisy with the fan going, but if I don't have it going, I'm going to die heat stroke here, so... We pretty much measured out for where the start of our bend should start. So hopefully if my brain isn't damaged, we get this thing correct. Alright, let's try this again. Line it up with the line. All right, so we got the conduit in there. Kind of had to go to the classic double bend. So that's where we kinked up the conduit pretty good over here, going with a single bend back to a double bend. But it seems to tuck in there correctly. Gets a pretty decent hug in the shape. I'm thinking this like skin reinforcement. I think I'm gonna notch out this area so the tube can get even further up in there. But other than that, we're on our way. Okay, so we got that piece, and then we got this part marked up. 
So it comes all the way on down there. So this is a good template for us to start off with. We'll probably notch out quite a bit of this upper cross member to replace with our bar up there. But it's looking pretty good here. Just need to figure it out and get some good measurements and start making it onto the big tube. Okay, so clearly building cages aren't for the faint of heart, but we got the patterns we need. Good enough for getting started. So once we got this, all that we have to do is go through and take, get measurements. I will actually work on that off camera to try to figure out the exact measurements and how to translate that into actual degrees on the machine. And then we, down here, we've got our tube that just came in. So next time we'll be able to start bending through the hoop maybe. So off camera, I'll have to notch out the places at the ceiling in the uh, roof line to try to get the tube stuck up a little further in the roof. But between that and working out the exact measurements here, we'll then get bending. And then hopefully within a couple weeks of that, we'll be done with the cage and we can start the more fun stuff. So this is going to be a real short one today. So thanks for stopping by for this quick little update and thanks for watching. I guess we'll see you guys later.